to Ring Central Coliseum in Oakland, home of the A's. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Washington Nationals going up against the Oakland Athletics. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set, and our pitcher in this game, Ross Stripling. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep Maybe hitters guessing, and all of his stuff it. seems to be coming out of the it's same arm time. slot, the same he's tunnel, right. and that can make life he's very right. difficult on his opponents. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And that one fouled off. You'll one. Fouled off to the right. Hey. Cold strike three on the fastball. And that ran back over the inner half. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Lane Thomas, the next to hit, takes ball one. This hitter loves attacking the first pitch, so not giving him something to hit is a good move. Next nope. offering is down low. There's a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. High fly ball down the left field line. Settles under this one, drops into the glove. And there are two down. Here's Dave Martinez lineup for the Nationals. In that cleanup spot, a key piece for this club, Joey Gallo. Well, he's an important part of this lineup for sure. I mean, there's no doubt about it, Boog. It's somebody that they try to feed off of. He does a lot of things, you know, very well up there at the plate. He's got a presence about him. And, you know, he's a guy that you really kind of like to watch swing the bat. Oh. Jesse Winker in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Two out, space is empty. So two balls and no strikes. Two balls, no strikes. Right through there for a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. That one blasted deep to right. Butler raging back towards the wall. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Safely into second. He's got a double. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. Well, here's a chance right here for one of the better hitters on this roster to get him on the board in the first. Thanks to the three-hole hitter extending the inning good at bat with two outs. Winker stands at second with two gone. Just missed. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Left-hand batter waves. That one misses. And now 3-0. Eddie Rosario in the on-deck circle for the Nats. And it's second. And there's the automatic. 
Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Bounced out to short. Throw on to Nevin. And that is the inning. Nationals leave one. And now the Athletics offense gets its first shot here. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in the East Bay. And on the hill, the lefty, Patrick Corbin. He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because you know, guys are looking to hit balls down in the zone, get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count, and to opposite guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's in the dirt. Two strikes. The wind of the pitch. Out there to center. Coming on. Got it. Really had to move for that grab. And there's one away. And let's take a look at the lineup. They're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound, which can be a big time challenge when he's right, working mostly from the knees down. Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then, make him elevated because guys that throw those sinkers, those two seamers, really hard for them to be effective up in the zone. Those are pitches you can hammer and when you get a cookie, you don't want to miss it. Nope. Off the plate inside, inside, and now it's even one and one. One out, base is empty. hit right for you. So a man aboard now with one away. That can be a dangerous pitch if you don't that get it hurt. inside enough that because hurt. as a hitter you Easy. see it coming across the plate the yeah, whole way. No problem handling it and putting a good swing on it that time. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Now it's J.D. Davis. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Lead runner makes the turn at second. To third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. A couple of singles back to back. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. He's been showing off some pop lately. Three homers already in this series. That one is absolutely belted. Tattooed to Tater Town and gone. That's his fourth home run of the series. It's 3 0. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. One down. Here's Tyler Nevin to the plate. And a swing and a miss. 0 oh 1. Next one pitch one. is downstairs. Still only one out here in the inning. Smoked on the ground a second. Got the out. He's out. Batting six. The center fielder, JJ. 
This is J.J. Bladé. And first offering is fouled off. Right through there for a strike. Hard hit, right side. Play made, that ends the inning. Three run shot for Oakland. As the A's are on top, you're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Second inning, set to go. Here's Eddie Rosario. Well, oh, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. A 3-0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ball game. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. That's back there. And it's off the out-of-town scoreboard. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Everything came together for him. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Here's the rookie third baseman, Trey Lipscomb. In for a strike, 0-1. Man at second. That one misses. One ball, one strike. Mike Fillmore, our plate umpire. Very consistent with his zone, Chris. Gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog. And I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way. So people around the league really appreciate his consistency. Two, one. Falling behind two and one. Chris, the players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter because the pitcher's got to pitch to her strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to her strength. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. And he deals. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Lede settles under it and makes the catch. Runner tags it second. Luis Garcia. And now it's Luis Garcia. I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone here. Pitchers looking for a strikeout or a ground ball, hoping to keep that runner at third. Bounced up the middle. Geloff throws to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. That right there was pre-pitch preparation by the base runner. Excellent job. He knew that he was going on contact once he saw the ball down. If he hesitates at all, the defense has an option to go home and try to cut him off. But a really nice job of base running. Drew Millis in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Strike two. Oh, two is the count. The pitch. Got it. Third out. So they get one run. One hit. No errors. No one left. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the A's three and the Nats one. Back in Oakland, we head to the bottom of the second, and now the DH, Nick Allen. Corbin, back to work. 
in there at the knees for a strike. All ones the count. Right side. Thomas makes the grab on the run. Batting eight. The shortstop. So digging in, Daryl Hernandez. Just missed. Inside, oh, just missed. I think it's very important to establish the inside part of the plate early. Sets the tone for the rest of the game. One down, base is empty. Line drive, caught! That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't enough. produce a hit, but he made right solid field. contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Now a chance for Lawrence Butler. And yeah, that's outside. 1-0. They say you win. I got a ball, one strike. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. Two down, nobody on. Three. Got him looking. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. A's go quickly and quietly there as the lead remains 3 1. And welcome back to the ballpark. On to the third the inning. And the batter now, Jacob. number 30. Young. The wind in the pitch. That ball misses one, the three. zone. And that is ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. And the righty deals. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Swings and misses and one down below the zone. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Hit hard, that gets through. So now back to the top of the order. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. So the batting order turns over. Here's the shortstop at the play, C.J. Abrams. First pitch misses. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Nobody out. Runner at first. And there's a foul ball. One one is fouled off. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer.
That oh. one misses. Yeah. It's two and two. It's a good take. Kicks and fires. Three. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Well done behind the dish. Man, it's so difficult as a hitter to get on plane with that pitch. It's breaking down and in, and you've got to find a way to match the plane. And if it's nasty like that one, bite at the end. Most times you're swinging over the top and walking back to the dugout. Here's Lane Thomas. Fly to left his first time. Off the plate inside, ball one. Thomas measures six feet even, 200 pounds, and he was a fifth-round pick back in 2014. The A's up by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And there's a ball. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. And a pitch. To the right side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He's able to win the race to the bag, and they do get the second out of the inning. Now Here's Jesse Winker. Doubled his first time up. Way outside, ball one. Two outs, and one in scoring position. He's trying for third. They had a foul ball. Late on that fastball. One ball, two strikes. Man on second, two down. Not close with that one. And the count's even at two. The 2-2 two -two gets a check swing. Now an appeal to third. And he won a round. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. So they can't do anything with the leadoff single there. We head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the A's three and the Nats one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the left fielder, Abraham Toro. Toro. As the lefty gets to work. In the air, right side. Thomas moving under this one. He's got it. And there's one away. Now batting. The second baseman. Now the number two hitter, Zach Geloff. Singled and scored his first time. That misses the zone, and it's 1 0. Bounce to the left side, and that's just foul. The wind of the pitch. On the ground, right side. Sends it to first. Fine play in the hole for the out. The third baseman, number five, J.D. Two outs, base is empty. Next up for the A's, J.D. Davis. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Pitch misses, and yeah, that's ball one. ball one. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Just oh, missed. Out.
That oh, misses. That and it's 3 and 0. Oh. That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and the guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. And now here's the A's catcher Shea Langoliers. He's already homered in this game. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing. But it's that big arm that really stands out. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Now that first baseman. Digging in for Oakland, Tyler Nevin grounded out his first time. Now a screamer into the outfield. And the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two are left. Three innings complete. It's the A's three and the Nats one. And we're back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Joey Gallo. Stripling back to work. Yeah. Top of the zone for a strike. Going one. Ripped on the ground a second. On to first. And they take care of Gallo for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now the left fielder, Eddie Rosario. A double and a run scored his first time up. Swings through that one for strike one. On one. The Athletics leading by two. Top half of inning number four. Up the middle, Hernias tosses to first, two up, two down. Well, but we talked about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder, wow, really impressive. Trey Lipscomb digging in for the Nationals. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And that's in for a strike. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. One and that's ball. in the dirt. Two and three. the count is one and two. It misses. It's a strikeout. Nationals go quietly. Score holds. It's 3 1. Ready to go. Leading Bottom off. four. Striding to the plate now Let's for Oakland. JJ Blade. The pitch. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And now Nick ball Allen. in the first pitch misses for now ball one. one. Lede gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Right. 
headed towards the corner on the move makes a nice grab at a full sprint and there's one down the batter number two shortstop Darryl Darryl Hernandez up next for the A's when you're taking your lead over there at first you've got to be very careful this guy on the mound's got a good pickoff move that's in there that's strike one man at first one away And that one sliced foul. And one and two. Got it by him for the K. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Next up for the A's, Lawrence Butler. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Right side, Garcia. The throw to first gets him easily, ends the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. We're headed to the fifth. It's the A's three and the Nats one. Back here in the East Bay. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Garcia. Yeah, the right hater back to work. Ground ball up the middle. Geloff tosses to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. First of all, that's just a nice job to even get to that ball. And then even more impressive was the throw. Off balance, had to try to end the air, get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. Nope. Millis takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Well, on yep, the mound, very out. efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. That hey. one at the knees for a strike. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Ball and that's outside. Down. And that's ball three. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. the second out. He's got to throw any pitch in any count. Three, two. He goes off speed. Gets the out. And now the center fielder. On the ground right side. Gets to it with a slide. And they get the out. And the Nationals gone in order. And they still trail it here, three to one. Back in Oakland, digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Abraham Toro. Abraham Toro. And a pitch. Change up on the corner, and that's a strike. There's the strike. Oh, and two now. And that skips in the dirt. Over to first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. The second baseman. Zach. Yellow. Zach Geloff will hit next. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Next offering is in for a strike.
And oh. ball one. This one in the air. Gallo in position. He's got it, and there's two away. The third baseman, number five, J.D. Davis. Now it's J.D. Davis. Up the middle. Whips it to Gallo. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing there for the A's. And the score stays three to one. All set for the top of the sixth. Now it's the shortstop, C.J. Abrams. The pitch. Abrams, 23 years old. A former first-round pick back in 2019. The Athletics have some bullpen action. Kyle Muller preparing to come on if needed. Adams warming up as well. That's in there. And a count one and one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And that one lifted in the air center field. Lede makes the grab one away. Now that right fielder. Lane, Lane Thomas, the next Thomas. to hit. He's a guy. Chris's highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. There's a strike. Swings through that one for strike two. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Off the mark there. Two balls, two strikes. Bounce to third. Davis slings it across, and there are two outs. Jesse Winker digging in for the Nationals. One for two. First pitch just misses. You want to be patient here. Try to work a walk if you can. You've got a big power bat behind you in the on deck circle. And with two outs, one swing can put you right back in this ballgame. And another ball. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Next offering is foul back. Foul ball there. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Three up, three down that time. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the A's three and the Nats one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Well, we go bottom six. Here's the Oakland cleanup hitter, Shea Langoliers. The pitch. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Abrams tosses the first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Up next for Oakland, the first baseman, Tyler. Tyler Nevin. Up next for the A's.
That ball misses, one. and that's ball one. Ball one, no strike. One down, base is empty. And it's fouled away. The lefty fires. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. And down on strikes he goes. Two away down. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Two outs, base is empty. Digging in for Oakland, J.J. Bladé. And a good eye there. Well, Boog, after watching the first inning of this one, you would not have expected that this pitcher would be in such a groove and still in the ball game at this point. Fly ball right field. Thomas has this one sized up. Brings it in for the third out. Kyle Muller into the game. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Here's Joey Gallo. For the he is very the much your typical power Joey hitter. I'd say he Gallo. falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over That's any discipline ball. or strikeout concerns. The 1-0. -oh. Just two. missed. Two balls, no strikes. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Langoliers drifts towards it. One away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Eddie Rosario digging in for the Nationals. First pitch misses. Counts one and oh. And that's in for a strike. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful. Not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Now this is in the air down the line. And that drops foul. And another ball. Just outside. And the count's full. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches, and somehow, Boog, he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. This one in the air center field. Lede gets there. He's under it. Squeezes it. Now back. Second base. Luis Garcia. Luis Garcia digging in for the Nationals. 
You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. 1-0. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. With the tying run at the plate, here in the top half of inning number seven. Just in, missed. And that clips the inside corner. The tying run at the plate. In the dirt, but kept close. Blocked by the catcher. And he steals second base without a throw. Tying run at the plate. Got him. And that will end the inning. So one left for Washington, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Matt Barnes. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Now the A's designated hitter, Nick the Allen. Designated hitter, Nick Allen. And a pitch. High fly ball out to center field. Under it. Makes the catch for the out. One down. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. The batter, number two. Shortstop. Striding to the plate now for Oakland. Daryl Hernandez. Looked nope. like it was a little bit up. Action oh, in the no, pen no, down no. there. Jordan Weems looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. Base is empty one away. Here at the bottom of the seventh. And Whoa, that's outside. That Ball two. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Millis makes the catch. Two away. The right fielder, number four, Lawrence. Lawrence Butler up next for the A's. On the ground to third. Whips it to Gallo, inning over. And the A's are gone in order, but they still lead it 3 1. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. TJ McFarland. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And it's the catcher for the Nationals, the Drew catcher. Millis, Drew. who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. 0 and 1. Next offering is downstairs. And here it comes. Pitch That's misses two. there, two and one. That's the third. Davis with the throw to first. Lead off man is out here in the eighth. 
now that the center fielder, Jake Here's the center fielder. And first offering is fouled off. The A's trying to protect a two run lead, and we're at the top of the eighth. Next offering is down low. One ball, one strike. And now the lefty got him swinging. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. Abrams in the box now. No balls and a strike. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. He was all over yeah. that one. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now the right fielder, Lane Thomas. Splits the plate. And it's 0-1. Abrams, the runner at first with two gone. Now snap throw to first, he's and he's back safely. One ball, one pitch break. out, but no action. Next offering is in for a strike. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out. And they'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Uh, just a total nightmare for lefties. I'd be very surprised to see that match up again. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. First and second, two down. Jesse Winker digging in for the no Nationals. Quarter. And that's in the dirt. So the tying run at second. And now two and nothing. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two and all to count. Here it comes. And that misses off the outside edge. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Two on, two outs. Right down the chute, and a count is three and one. That's through there for a strike. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. Hammer down the line. Should be extra bases. And now it gets into the corner. One runs in. Here comes the throw. Well, he was a little off balance. He got the front foot down, but was so great at keeping the hands back and allowed him still to get good wood to this baseball. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. The pitcher on here, Austin Adams. He's been so good against lefties. Go ahead, run on base. And now it's Joey Gallo. Oh, 
And the first pitch misses for ball one. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. This one ripped, but foul to the right. Two down, go ahead run at scoring position. And that one fouled off. Righty to the plate. Great. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back here in the East Bay. Out of the bottom of the eighth. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the A's, Abraham Toro. Barnes back to work and fouled off. And the right hander deals. Fouled off. He was late. Oh, and two now. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. The 0 2. Up the middle, and that chance handled. And he beats the throw. He's safe. Definitely a tough play right there, and he had a little trouble on the transfer. Didn't seem to be able to get the grip and get rid of it, and that made all the difference. Next up for the A's, Zach Gellar. One for three. Breaking ball in there for a strike. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Next pitch is downstairs. Way to lay off that pitch down. That clips a corner. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Ground ball left side could be two. To second, there's one on the first double play. Huge sigh of relief right there. Big time pitching to induce the double play. Erase what could have been the go ahead run. David. Down the third baseman, J.D. Davis. Check swing, no appeal. Ball one, no strike. All tied up here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. And yeah, that's a little bit high. And that's ball two. Inside just missed. Shea Langoliers would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Called strike right there. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to, he's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Shea Langoliers digs in now. He's already homered here in this one. 
Went through there for a strike. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. In there at the knees. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Two outs. O2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And a ball in two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Through eight full, all tied up at three apiece. And we're back. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the left fielder, Eddie Rosario. The wind of the pitch. Fought off foul. Left hand hitter waits. All one. Movement in the bullpen. Danny Jimenez getting ready to go. Slider misses outside. Back to back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Late that time, and it's strike two. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. And that skips in the dirt. Trey Lipscomb to bat next. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Up now for Washington, Trey Lipscomb. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. Slap the other way, foul. One down, base is empty. Off the plate, and the count even one and one. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Doubled up on the slider away. Two seamer here. Let's watch and see. But why to kick the pitch? Foul ball still a one and two count. Righty delivers. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Luis Garcia getting ready to hit. That's in there. It's 0-1. Adams, 32 years old, and he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2012. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. All tied up at three apiece. On to pitch now for the Nationals, Trevor Williams. This is his third time out this year. Leading off, Tyler Nevin. The first baseman, Tyler Nevin.
And the pitch. Ball one, one no strikes. The Nationals have some action going in the pen. Kyle Finnegan, the closer of the staff, is throwing. And a 1-1. Base hit. That was smoke through the infield. Lead off knock. Puts the winning run on base. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Substitution being made at first. Entering is the pinch runner, Seth Brown. No outs. Runner at first. Digging in for Oakland, J.J. Blade. In for a strike. Going one. Winning run at first. Nobody out. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Good nope, eye right the there. Ball. Way out front for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Here's a one two. Three. Swings and misses, struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. He came out of his mechanics no there. No Typically hit. likes to Just shoot the ball hitter. the other way. Yeah. But that time, a little anxious. Allen. And next is the designated hitter, Nick Allen. 0 for 3 with three flyouts. And Off that's outside. Ball one. Ball one. Ground ball could be two to second Abrams. Double play, and we're headed to extra innings. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Nine isn't enough to decide a winner, so we are off to extra innings. All tied up at three apiece. So coming into the game now on defense, Seth Brown. He takes over as the new first baseman. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter, Joey Manessis. And he's a right-handed bat, but he handles same side matchups pretty well. So. Adams back to work. And that is cut on and missed. Slider right there. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So, Chris, how has that changed the way relievers approach these innings? Well, I don't think it's that much different from coming in to clean up someone else's mess. Definitely not ideal, but the best relievers welcome challenges like this. And that's in the dirt. Two strikes. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Another one, two. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. One, two. 
And another ball. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Down the line, and it's foul. Right-hander kicks, deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. Kicks and deals. Hit on the ground to the right side. He'll do it himself. That was a strong at bat, even though she couldn't find a way on base. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a hit, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat, especially when you're playing extra innings. Number 30 in the box now. Take strike one. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go-ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. That one a little bit high, and now it's even one and one. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And the runner's coming home. Squeeze attempt misses. Now he is nowhere to go. He's tagged out, and that didn't play out the way they hoped. Two down, nobody on. And here in extra innings. Out to short. In plenty of time to first. And that is that. Nothing doing here this half. On to the bottom of inning number 10. All tied up at three apiece. Now into the game, Riley Adams. He takes over behind the plate. Daryl Hernandez now at the plate. Man at second, nobody out. Chris certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. Counts one and oh. And he deals. Yeah, I think part of that goes into it's just so hard to come up with hits. In today's game, starters don't go deep, and so hitters are seeing multiple pitchers every night, and that makes it more challenging just to come up with a single. Here's the automatic. Down the middle for a strike. And a full count now. Three, two. On the ground right side. And it goes just foul. Man at second. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter. Blowing away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. So up next, Lawrence Butler. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. And he takes a strike. The winning run on second base. 
right through there for a strike. He's fallen behind in a huge spot, Boo. Got to do what it takes to come through. Maybe choke up on the bat a little bit, spread out those feet, whatever it takes. Left hand batter waits. He goes down looking. I don't know what he's looking for right there. You have to be ready to swing the bat. You can walk it off if you're just a little more aggressive. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Abraham Toro. That Don't one not close. Play. Ball one. At the belt and fires. There's a strike. With the winning run standing at second. And we're in the last half of the tenth. Strike on the inside corner. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Man on second, two down. In the air, out towards right center. Sizing this one up. Makes the grab. And that is the inning. The A's strand one. Score remains tied at three. Back now, and we're in extras. A new arm on the mound here in the top half of the inning. Danny Jimenez. So the Nets lineup turns over. C.J. Abrams digging in for the Nationals. And the pitch. Extra innings certainly had a different feel starting in 2020 with a new rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning and that forced teams to rethink their strategy in extra frames. Yeah much less margin for error and boob to your dismay not much sacrifice bunting teams usually try for the big inning. Certainly not that much bunting for the road team as they try and play for the big inning but for the home team if the road team doesn't score you'll see the home team bunt sometimes. Brown makes the grab on the run. Now batting right fielder Lane Thomas. So digging in Lane Thomas. Well first base open really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here put him on have the force at second first perhaps hey. getting any ending double play. and misses and that's strike two two really good back to back sliders now in an 0-2 count he's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off he can go anywhere he wants swing and a miss struck him out oh, that's a huge strikeout right there big second out infield was in they were playing the full court press and he got the swing and miss keeps this one tied this next at bat should be a lot of fun the odds of wiggling out of this just went up considerably Next is the designated hitter, Jesse Winker. That one finds the zone, and oh, that's strike one. Swing and a miss as he was out front. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Got him looking. Nets go down one, two, three. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam.
We're in extras here. Here's the second baseman, Zach Gellar. And a pitch. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. Here's the old one. And it's strike two. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Man at second. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Just a great slider right there. And I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, that he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone. And right there, excellent execution, and it finished up at a perfect spot. Now it's going to be J.D. Davis. Oh, that one missing inside. Winning run at second with one away. We are in the 11th. That clips the inside corner for a strike. And the righty deals. And another ball. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Comes a 2 2. Hard hit, base hit. Runner around third. The throw home. Save. Ball game. They walk it off. You know, he had to feel the pressure. Winning run on second base. Found a way to make solid contact, and the winning run comes across to score. Everyone going crazy. Exciting finish to this game today. And the final score here, 4-3. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi saying so long.